What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, all the links for everything will be linked down below. You guys can give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So today's video is going to be my top 10 favorite accessories or trends. So I may talk about a particular shoe, but you can always substitute the shoe for obviously a different alternative. So I did kind of want to say that. I think all these are very fun. They're very now. I feel like all these are other accessories that you could use it beyond this season for the most part and potentially carry it within the next few years so without further ado i'm going to scoot to the side and let's go ahead and get this video started so the first hottest accessory there's some shoes there's some eyewear there's some jewelry there is a little bit of everything so the first one is going to be the coach sylvie sandal um it comes in at 165 dollars and it comes in black and ivory and this is a woman's shoes and it comes in a full size run when i saw these shoes i gagged i was like i need to have these shoes i need to have these shoes i need to have these shoes and the reason is why i need to have these shoes is because you guys know i love this bag i've had this bag since it came out about two years ago and that shoe i've been trying to find the perfect shoe to go with the pillow and i have just not found the perfect shoe i mean i have ivory shoes or i have white shoes i do have those mules from the row that i have been wearing them together but i haven't had like the perfect shoe and this sandal is literally the exact leather as this handbag and they are platform you guys know um for shoes platforms have always been more popular especially the last few summers so i definitely need that sandal i think it is so pretty i like that it incorporates the c i like that it's puffy i like that it if you already have a pillow tabby it already matches it or if you don't i think that the platform makes it look more on trend um i would say coat shoes are made really really well i have a pair of coat shoes that are five years old that literally look brand new um you know we i never ever have any coach quality issues with their footwear and i've never seen and i also think that coach shoes are pretty reasonably price point compared to handbags or compared to other contemporary handbag brands um 165 185 under tax here in texas i think this is perfect i think this is going to be the next shoe that i will purchase i do want to buy at least one sandal one sneaker for this summer season and i think for me this is probably one that i do want just because i already have the matching handbag towards it but i would say just any platform sandal has been really on trend and especially here in texas here in the south the humidity oh my god se pone mi calor i would say that that is a perfect one the second one is going to be this one right here. It is the Toy Birds Kira Sports Sandal, which I did mention on my top 10 favorite handbags for summer under five, under $500. And I'll leave that video linked down below in case you want to watch it. It's the last video that I just posted. This one comes in at 278 and it comes in black and ivory. And then certain websites have them in other certain combinations. I think this is a perfect play on the Chanel Dad Sandal that has been popular for many years. I know that last year or two years ago, um, Toy Birds did come out with a version of this Kira Sport sandal, but it was more chunky, looked more of a sneaker with the grip on the sole. But this one looks a lot more feminine, it looks a lot more cleaner, and I think that this is a perfect perfect alternative it's 278 especially if you already have toy bridge handbags in your collection toy bridge accessories like i do um i have a pair of toy bridge trousers that are really nice that are double lined i'm gonna wear them with these sandals um this is another shoe that i really really do want to add into my collection um just because i feel like they'll just absolutely go with everything and everything and they're just super super seamless and i can see easy toy Birch making this a permanent sandal for the summer um like them coming out with it next year next year just because this type of style is very popular obviously other brands like Birkenstocks have styles like this but i think the toy birch one they did knock it out the park so you know coach with the thong sandal and toy birch with the sport sandal the dad sandal i think that both are great options but i think this one is going to be a great one like i said any dad sandal it doesn't have to be the particular item that i'm talking about something similar can also be a really great item to add into your summer accessory wardrobe the next thing which is number three which is going to be the bottega veneta um dupe earring now mergy has a version of this that's not exactly a dupe i will say amazon does have a almost exact dupes but i do want like a sterling silver just because my ears are a little sensitive and mergy has i believe that's the jewelry store I, we have one here in 
Houston that opened up like not too long ago in Montrose Collective and it is literally $40 they're sterling silver and they are a little bit more smaller which I feel for me since I do have short hair right now they'll be like perfect I think that they are the perfect kind of on trend um, droopy earring like I said a lot of brands have this one I would say if you don't want to do the Muji ones I think Amazon has some great ones which I'll leave a link down below that some of my other bloggers that I follow on Instagram have recommended they're just cute droopy put it on with the blazer put it on with the shirt um, put it on with a summer dress i think it just kind of adds on a little bit of on trend and i do like that out of all the all the things that i'm talking about in this video this is pretty much one of the least expensive you can be on trend for literally under fifty dollars and especially if you get the mirroring one that's sterling silver you can use that one again and again and again and again and it will never go out of style so i will say that the droop earring has been super popular and this is the only piece of jewelry that i will recommend you guys know i'm not a big jewelry person so i'm only going to recommend what i can really see myself wearing and I would I could see myself wearing those droopy ones. I do have these ones that I did get from the Mugler collection. Um, these are clip-on earrings, and the fact that these are our costume jewelry, and these aren't even um, still sterling silver, and these were fifty dollars, and the fact that the Mirji ones are forty dollars and they're sterling silver, and they're actual earrings. I don't know. I feel like for clip-ons, I always have a phobia that I'm gonna lose one. But those Mirji ones are definitely on the list, and I think droopy earrings are super, super cute. But like I said, every brand has their version of it. Number four, I would participate in this type of style of shoe if I didn't have such a wide foot. And it's going to be the jelly sandal. Now, we've seen Gucci do their version of the jelly sandal within the last two to three years, and they have been super popular, I believe. When they first came out, they were 350. I think now they're like 450 or 490, something ridiculous. Um, Toy Birch right now has their Eleanor version of this one on the Nordstrom website for 30% off, which makes them about $140. And this is basically like the version of, I call these kind of like Barbie shoes, like playhouse shoes. They are a little bit more for the narrow foot. So if you do have more of a narrow foot, I would say that these are perfect. For me, I'm a wide foot type of girl. They would be a minancho. They were definitely not going to fit me, but if I did, I would definitely wear them. And if you do want to get into that jelly sandal, especially since they don't really have a lot of hardware, they're very easy to clean. They go a lot with everything. At the end of the day, they are rubber, they are jelly. You can literally rinse them in the water and they are good as new. You can take them to the beach, you can take them to a little dinner, walk around Miami Beach if you get a little sand. Go, you rinse them in a little bit of water, dry them with a little towel, and you are good to go. I think these are really great for the summer. Like I said, um, the humidity, everything, these are perfect. They won't be super, super sticky. And I, from the reviews from the Twerbridge Jelly ones, they seem to have really good reviews. And I hear that these ones are a little bit more comfortable than the Gucci ones. So I will say that that is a really, really good alternative. And I think the Jelly Sandals are here to stay. I mean, they're always popular year after year. But I do like this variation of the Toy Bird. Number five is going to be Raffia Bucket Hats. Now, I was looking on the, on like, what I usually do when I find like videos, I go through all the websites. I will go through Nordstrom, Neiman, Saks. Um, I will go through Cost. I will go through H&M, Zara, Good American. I'll go through all the websites and I'll literally go and start picking things. And one thing that I did notice that was very apparent through the designer websites was Raffia Bucket Hats. So Prada has their one that was very popular last year. Um, Burberry has one, Chloe has one, um, Gucci has one, Toy Birch has one on their website, um, Anina Bean has one. So all these brands have been doing Raffia Bucket Hats, which have not been popular in the past years. I'd say maybe last year they were because the Prada was kind of like the first one that came out. But for me, I don't know, something about having like a crocheted logo on the top of my head. I just does not sit well with me. I don't mind it in a handbag, but for a hat, I definitely want it to be a little bit more seamless. So on the cost website, I saw the cost Raffia bucket hat for $59. Isn't it beautiful? It comes in two sizes, extra small, small, large, and extra large. And it gives me everything that I needed to do. Um, it goes with a lot of the simple outfits. So this is like a bodysuit. This shirt is from the Frankie shop. I put in a little Raffia hat, put my little shorts and my little sandals with the Raffia hat with my designer bag. It's not too much, um, not a lot of brands, not a lot of logos, it's more seamless. And like I said, I always think things with not super major logos um, always appear of different price points. People could think it's $10 from, um, from Walmart or Target 
but people can think it's you know a eight hundred dollar hat from the row. That's what I like about uh, clothing that uh, appear to look that expensive because people can really range from what price point it is. But this one for fifty nine dollars, I think you cannot go wrong. And like I said, this raffi is really nice. It's very easy to pat down. We'll go with everything, and I don't think you will regret having this into your collection. And this is the only uh, hat that I recommend on this list. Number six, my sneaker choice of the summer. It's going to be the Adidas Stamina Sneaker. I believe that's what you say, and this comes in at $90. Um, I have not had a shoe under $100 that I have personally purchased, and I was kind of looking through my wardrobe in a very, very long time with the side up Ugg slippers. And I think that, because I'm just so picky when it comes to my shoes, I have to make sure my shoes are, they last well, they're very easy to clean, but I think that these are the ultimate kind of cool girl, cool boy sneaker. I think that they are a really great price point, like I said, under $100, and they have them in a full size run, and I've been seeing uh, these be styled super well um, across many different types of people, men and women. This is a very unisex shoe, and so if you have been wanting a sneaker, I think this is the best sneaker under $100 to buy this summer. Um, and it's also Adidas too, and even since it's not I wouldn't say this is technically a summer shoe I would say this is a shoe that's trending right now and it just so happens to be summer I would say that this is a shoe that you can easily transition into the fall into the winter and can be a yearly shoe that you can have around and around and around not necessarily is this like a summer shoe investment for the season this is also a shoe that you can definitely use uh, 365 days a year and so I don't think you can ever go wrong with that but most sneakers are usually year-round if you ask me number seven is going to be lighter tint sunglasses so the ones that I've been wearing that you guys haven't seen me wear on Instagram are these Tom Ford ones I bought I bought these like a long time ago I think maybe last year and they are a lighter ones but if you go on the Tom Ford website or Farfetch um, a lot of these lighter tint glasses are on the website and I just think that the lighter tints are so cool it's so much fun for um, to wear to wear in general I have these little smaller ones here oh my god they are so dirty I need to definitely clean them after this video but I think lighter tint glasses in general, they don't like I said, they don't necessarily have to be Tom Ford. You can go and get some at Free People, or you can get some at Norton Rack, or you can go and get like some Tom Ford ones. In general, I think glasses with tint are really nice, or that don't even have tint that are nice and chunky, and then they're really great for the summer. I think when I think of these glasses, I definitely think of like Sunday Fun Day. I definitely think of the weekend, going to brunch, um, not necessarily taking them off. They may be a little too like. I don't know, douchebaggy to kind of wear them at a restaurant or stuff, but I probably, I would wear them during the day. If I'm having brunch during the day, I'm not taking them off. But if, but if I'm at night, obviously I would, but I just think that they're just so cool, so elevated with your sneaker, with your handbag, with your glasses. You just are giving it girl energy, it boy energy, and I think that they go with everything. And I haven't seen lighter tint glasses be as popular as they are now. And it's somebody that I used to work in accessories at Nordstrom, so I would see all these different type of styles of sunglasses. But I would say this year I definitely have seen a shift more towards lighter lenses. And I think just because they're more transitional, you, you can get away with wearing them in, indoor and outdoor, and especially like at the pool and stuff. Um, you know, you want to have conversation with people, you want to see people's eyes, and I think lighter tint glasses are perfect. And like I said, on the Nordstrom Rack website, sometimes you can find really good deals. I think these ones were originally $500 on the Nordstrom Rack website, and I got them for, I think, $160 or $180. So they were definitely a little over 60 to 65%. Number eight is going to be a particular brand of sunglasses. Um, not particularly like a style. I would say just low way based sunglasses. So popular, I have not seen a sun uh, a fashion brand become so popular such amount of time. I remember Loewe really wasn't that girl for the longest. And I remember when I worked at Nordstrom, we had Loewe everything and we lost it because we couldn't sell through it. And I'm pretty sure if we were to get Loewe back now at North Park, I think we would be able to sell through Loewe like nobody's business. But I have seen the rise of Loewe these last few years. You guys know I've been loving Loewe since Emma Hill bought her puzzle bag like five years ago. Um, but sunglasses from the way we have been doing incredibly well. I like the, especially like the flower ones, um, the big chunky ones, they're colorful. They just are such a vibe for summer. I think that they will go with everything with the vibe. Definitely like a nice weekend, get us off of work, you're in traffic, but you have your beautiful little sunglasses. 
Ain't nobody can tell you anything. And I'll definitely say Loewe glasses is going to be the, the sun, sunglass brand of the summer. I definitely can see this uh, being even more popular than what they are. So if you have been considering a pair of glasses from a designer brand, but you already have like a lot of your classics or you just want something fun, I would definitely recommend Loewe Bay sunglasses. I think that they're very fun, very interesting from the price point. Most of their glasses, you can't find another brand. You know, your classic aviator, you can go from Ray-Ban to Chanel to Troy Burge to Coach, but a lot of the Loewe ones are very particular to the Loewe brand. So that's what makes me justify the price point spending about $500 on a pair of glasses. Number nine are going to be fabric headbands. So I've seen the very thick headbands that have been popular, which I'll insert a picture here, which I'll leave my favorite version down below. Obviously, I don't have long hair right now. I'm in the process of growing it. I kind of regret kind of going shaving my head off. Why well, didn't really shave it? I just went short. So right now I'm regrowing it out. You guys know I kind of like have it super long, then I get bored and then I cut it again and it's kind of like a cycle. But um, I would say on the Saks Fifth Avenue website, they have all these Missoni headbands and they are under $60 and they are originally retail for $300 plus. And this is a really great way to incorporate fun color into your wardrobe and since a lot of the Missoni headbands have different shades of color you can definitely get away with wearing them with more than one color outfits and Missoni is a really great brand to buy for the summer and especially at sex outfit they have a lot of great things like they even have like ponchos and stuff but we're talking about just the headbands they have these really pretty fun chunky headbands that are cotton that are very lightweight and I think a nice thick headband is perfect for the summer, it's perfect for the beach, perfect for running around errands. You just put it on, you flip your hair, and you are good to go to run all your errands. So I would say the Missoni um, fabric headbands are definitely it, but I'll say just any fabric headband. It can just be even the simple black ones. I think you can never go wrong with, and they are uh, popular. I would say we're kind of out of the thicker, like Lily Sedoli headbands, and we're going more into the fabric headbands, especially for this season. And number 10, I would say the Chucky Loafer, even though I wouldn't consider it such a hot summer accessory, it still goes strong. A lot of people wear their Chucky Loafers even in the summertime. You guys know I have the Prada Chucky Loafers in the white and in the black. But I found this one that I've been wanting to talk about for the longest. But like I said, I really haven't been posting YouTube videos like that. And this is the Coach Leia Chunky Loafer. And this comes in at $1.95. Now, if you've been wanting a Chunky Loafer, or like a thicker sole loafer, I would say that this is perfect. You can. This is a buy now, wear now. I think this loafer you can wear all year round. But this is going to be even perfect to transition into the next couple of seasons. And I like that it's black on black. Uh, like I said, Coach shoes are pretty much well made. I've never seen any quality issues with them. So if you do still want to get on that kind of like chunky loafer face, but they're not super chunky, I think those are a really great one. Like I said, not necessarily a hot, hot summer trend or a hot summer accessory, but I would say this is a nice one to get if maybe you don't want to get some of the other kind of trendy, like let's say Loewe sunglasses, but you still want to get something for to wear and buy now, wear it now. I think maybe like the coach, um, the coach loafer could be a great one. They're gonna be my favorite um, accessories for 2023 summertime. Most of these are honestly under like $300. I would say just Loewe is under five, um, $500, but. Honestly, you can never go wrong with any of these. All these will definitely transition. All these goes with mix and matches with a lot of things that you already have in your wardrobe. They're not super out of the ordinary. But I would love to hear what are your favorite accessories down below. Um, but if I were to pick out of three out of the ten that I want, I definitely want the Coach Sandal, the Toy Rich Sandal, and I probably want um, more lighter tint sunglasses, like the Tom Ford ones, just because um, I use them a lot. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. What else do you think is a hot accessory or hot item or Pacific brand that's popular that's under $500? I would love to hear it down below. I love and I appreciate each and every single one of you. And los miro hasta la próxima video. Bye guys and take care.